In this video, I'll be playing on the map Woods, which is one of the beginner maps of the game, but is very underrated for money. There's four main monuments that are good to loot on this map, which are Sawmill, Med Camp, Scab Town, and Usec Camp. I normally run it at night with a flur in order to give myself the best chance of surviving if I were to run into a PMC. I am able to make between 1 to 2 million rubles per raid on this map, and it's one of the safest maps to play on, which makes the risk of dying really low. It's actually a good spawn. I think the play is going to be we loot up Scab Town, then we hit Med Camp, and then we go from Med Camp to Sawmill, and then we extract Outskirts. Holy. And I was getting shot at from the back too. We got empty bags ready to be filled, dude. Those right there. I always make sure to check on top of those. Um, on top of the uh, pallets and bags of sand and stuff like that. Take that. Two TP one hundreds. Wait, is it one hundred or two hundred? Two hundred. That's a that's a scav. Yeah. I saw the pilgrim and I was like, hold up, what's going on? Sugar and a D fuel. Boom. Let's go. And then two elite pliers. It's a really good room, I'm not gonna lie. Got a tool set and another tool set. Um we'll hold on to them for now. We need to drop them later than we will. Because they're really not worth the most. We'll see what happens. Okay, checking under the bed. Don't see anything. a vase under this one. Let's go. Put the vase in there. Oh, look at that. A lead X from a duffel bag. Wow. It's actually been a really long time since I've got a lead X from a duffel bag. It's big. Chocolate bar. Those are going for like 50k right now, which is really good. Shank and a herring. Condensed milk. Max energy. Meds. Power cord. There's a horse under there. I'm not going to grab it, but. Definitely check under all the beds because there can be valuables that do spawn um, under them. Alright, cool. Good check in here. I'm not sure how much relays are going for right now, I'm just going to leave it for now. Just because like, I don't know, I don't know if it's worth picking them up or not. Check up against the log, look at that sugar. 
More sugar up against the log. And a vodka. This is a valuable spawn. I've gotten lions and stuff stuff like that from there before. I get, get gold chains all the time from there. Always make sure you check these shacks. I get I've gotten moonshine from here before. Multiple times actually, so it's definitely worth checking them. Another tool set, holy. We're definitely gonna end up dropping these tool sets once we get more stuff. Should probably just drop them now. Wait, we. Alright, it's heavy. Two helixes right here. Those always have tech spawns on them. Red pliers. <clears throat> Nothing worth it up there. There's normally just attachments on that table. Then right here there's weapon crates that spawn and then What kind of flare is this? White? I'm not gonna take that. Okay. On to the next building. There's only food spawns on the floor here. Yep, there's a hot rod. Honestly, I think we popped the Tremadol and the SJ just to get to med camp. Yeah, I'm gonna pop them both. I like running an SJ6, Trimidol, and a Mule just because of how much running you have to do on the map. Combining an SJ6 and a Trimidol makes it so you're really heavy. Like, even if you're really heavy and you're maybe in the yellow, you can pretty much run non-stop across the map. The mule is necessary if you reach the red, where you're like encumbered, and you can't even regain stamina, because it increases your max carry weight. Combining all three stems makes it so you could be like 100 kg, um, or kilograms, deep into the red, can't regain, and then you can pop all three and you'll be able to like run non-stop for a pretty long time. So it's pretty busted for long distances, especially on maps like this. Saw a heat signature of some sort back there. Oh wait, that's just the light on there. Okay. Look at that. Sh oh wait, I thought that was sugar. I was gonna say. Alright. Start by looting my camp. We are getting to the point where we're gonna we're gonna need to drop stuff soon. We're gonna drink this. That Tremadol really. The Tremadol takes out a lot of our uh, food and water. It's a ratchet right here, which is big. I don't know if that was the one yelling at me, but we got him. There's another one closer. <clears throat> Ooh, O scope. Take that. 
Just go for a lot. And I'm morphing right here. Did I search this? Yes, I did. Okay. Some spawns back here. It's always worth checking. Checking back here. Is this a Lua? I'll drop that for now. Now we're gonna be able to find something to fill the spot. I'm gonna use this to Shanka because we're pretty low on food. Golden egg, ooh. I'm gonna leave it that stuff for now. Check back here, there's always good food spawns back here. Or most of the time at least. Yeah, there's a hot rod and a tarcola. I get sugar back here all the time. Another Ledex, give it to me. Um, we're gonna drop these and that. Alright. We're still at 60, we're not that heavy right now. You check in here? Oh, we have that. CPU fan. There's a food spawn right there, I just see sprats, so I'm not gonna like grab that, but. I get vodka and sugar from there sometimes, so it's worth checking for sure. WR. Blood set. We'll probably drop the blood set if necessary. They're not going for as much anymore. Um, I don't really want the croutons. Wait, why can't I grab? Okay. There. Slow Jiwi. Slow Jiwi. Oh, gee. Why did I just mag dump on that scab, bro? There's all my bullets. Like seven scars, bro. Holy. Check this. Yeah. Oh, 
car battery. Oof. That's gonna just gonna give me some weight. Drink the milk, drop that. Put that up here. Seventy-three point eight. Oh, another ratchet, dude. Let's go. Um, what are we? Can we drop? Uh, what about this? Take that. Put that in there. You're really heavy now. <clears throat> Honestly, we really didn't need. Uh, ooh, we take that. Got a Schmidt. The turn speed is so bad. SPP M6. Okay, I want the M61. Drop that. Um, yeah, that's all we're gonna take. Oh, that's the problem. All right, we're gonna drop that. That's the problem. We were just way too heavy. Let's go, we got some sugar. How much space does this thing hold? It's a three by three. That's not bad. Get this stash loot and then that's it. Stash spawns here most of the time. There's only ever been like a few occasions where it hasn't for me. Alright, cool. Overall, it was a solid raid and we looted most of the map. I didn't sell everything because I kept the extra meds and food in my stash, but out of the things I did sell, I made around 2 million rubles on this run. I also normally bring Sturm and Stash Key with me, which you can usually buy on Flea for a little over 200,000 rubles. I just didn't have it on me for this raid. Sturm and Stash is almost always going to net you profit, which is a nice little bonus. And if you don't believe me, check out my opening up Sturm and Stash video 10 times to see the results. Last, if this helps, make sure y'all like the video as it supports the channel.